perfect, wasn't it? Jim Baker, meet Jessica Hahn. I've been going through hell. My wife's left me. Telling me that you knew her? I never met her in my life. I meant new in the biblical sense. Fornication. One mistake in 19 years. Oh, dear God. I think of you and little Tammy as so young. Remember when you let me give my first revival in this church? <laughs> what a disaster. But you helped me bounce back. You taught me to keep going, to get up, turn your mistakes into miracles. You can make it. Optimism's been part of my gospel ever since. Do you know how many people we reach? Millions. Did you know that 40,000 people came to hear me preach in Shea Stadium? Jim. What has this to do with breaking your marriage vows? I'm trying to tell you it isn't all my fault. Somebody put the idea in my head if, if I made Tammy jealous. Tammy has been having an affair. Oh, she denies it, but I have proof. I found proof out at our beach house. A letter she wrote to her lover boy I found at the bottom of a trash barrel. It took me hours to now, piece Jim, it back stop. together. You told me you committed adultery. You've got to take responsibility. Aubrey, don't turn away. I'm hurting. Breaks my heart to think that you stopped loving Tammy. Oh, I haven't. She's the only woman I've ever loved in my life. Aubrey, she's living in California. She won't talk to me. If you get a divorce, you'll lose your wife and your ministry. Don't you think I know that? Then why? Why? Trying to build PTL into a worldwide ministry, the government attacking me about taxes, the newspapers writing stories about me, my marriage falling apart, a live television show six days a week, the pressures never let up. I... I just wasn't thinking straight. Jim, first, you must get right with God. Pray with me, Aubrey. 
pray for me? Merciful God, who knows the depths of our hearts. Oh, to spare this servant who oh, confesses his sins. Oh, Jesus, I'm a sinner. Oh, Jesus, I'm Restore a him oh, God. who shows I've penitence. Adultery. And deliver him who confesses oh, hurting. Jesus. and seeks forgiveness. Oh, Jesus. God, forgive me, forgive me. I want to be your humble servant, oh Jesus, oh Lord, oh God. Deliver him Please forgive me. from vain Jesus. desires. Jesus. That he may serve thee hereafter me, in righteousness and humility. Oh Jesus. children. We're fine, except they miss you. I miss them, too. As soon as I finish nurse's A training, I want them with me. I'm flying out to California tonight. Tam, we got to put our marriage back together. Jim, I really need time to think. Do me a favor. Look around. Ask yourself if that's a place you could be happy spending the rest of your life in. Renewing our marriage at Reagan's inaugural. To think they invited us. To the Reverend and Mrs. James O. Baker. It's kind of like a sign, huh? Tammy, I, I have a confession. Oh, Jim, please don't say anything to spoil this. It's about something I did. Whatever it is, I forgive you. Come on. Be nice. Aren't you even a little bit curious about where I went when I snuck out of the hotel this afternoon? No, 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 no. I'm not going to ask you. I want to, but I'm not going to ask you. Well, it was someplace nice. Where'd you go? Come on. Mm -hmm. Where'd you go? Mm -hmm. Come on, tell me, tell no. me, tell, tell me, tell me. Okay, I see I'm gonna have to tickle ya. No, don't, tell don't. You, tell Tammy, me. I do not like Here to be tickled. Here comes Mr. Tickle, tickle you know, finger, finger. Now you know that. Tickle, 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 tickle. Okay, 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 all right, in my pocket. Reach in my pocket. Oh. Oh, Jim. I chew it, Bob. This ring says that Jim and Tammy are back together. For keeps. Forever and ever and ever. Senator. Congratulations. Isn't it wonderful? Victory. Reverend. Jim Baker. Oh, of course. God bless you. I don't believe you've ever met my wife, Tammy Faye. Hi. How do you do? Dr. Jerry Falwell. Yeah. A pleasure. Isn't this a wonderful night for oh, America? Yeah. Hostages are free and our destiny is back in the hands of the Republican Party. The moral majority can take a lot of credit for that. Well, we did get out the Christian vote, didn't we? <laughs> Reverend? Hello, Senator. Oh, Jim, wasn't he on the show? His name's on the tip of my tongue. Is it Storm? Strom. Strom. Thurm. Yes. <laughs> well, he's, he represents your state, doesn't he? Yes, or is... Uh, <laughs> Or is Heritage Park in North Carolina? I know it's on the board, half and half. Ah, half and half. I understand you had a bit of a problem. Oh no, it's all over. Jim and I are back together again and more in love than ever. No, I meant the Internal Revenue Audit. We're hoping for uh, more understanding from the new administration. Of course, of course. Excuse me, but I have to say congratulations to my friend Jim Watt on his appointment. <laughs> nice Bye -bye. to see you. Well, Mr. Secretary. What's that about an audit? Well, nothing I can't handle. Oh, come on, man. 
This location guarantees privacy. I thought you said the owner hadn't put the property on the marketplace. He didn't plan to quite yet, but uh, once I told him who the uh, potential buyer was, he came around. I need a short escrow. My wife and I just got back together, and I want to buy her a new house with all the trimmings. Well, you can see this is a potential show place. It needs a new security system and a staff court. Well, there's a real nice maid's room. No, for the bodyguards. Bodyguards? A preacher? What? Well, I'm not your average preacher, you know. When you're on television six days a week, you get death threats. Go to the closet. This room is going to give me hay fever. I just know it. 20 years, Jim, since we left Bible school. Lots of ups and downs. Oh, boy. You remember those Appalachian hills and hollows we did our first preaching, those little churches? Yeah. Do you remember the name of that dinky little coal mining town where we spent our honeymoon? What was it? It was radish or, or broccoli. It was the name of a vegetable. <laughs> Cucumber. Cucumber, West Virginia, where they paid us with live chickens. No, that was Pickaway, because Cucumber was where you helped me through that case of laryngitis. We were something, huh? You preaching too hard, me singing too loud, working my fingers to the bone, playing that old accordion. We brought a lot of souls to Jesus. Yeah. A lot of souls to Jesus. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the pastor of the brand new Heritage Village Church, the Reverend Jim Baker. Praise him. Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be happy in it. Hallelujah. Now chase the devil away. Praise the Lord. Say it with me. Give me two more. I feel just like a cheerleader for Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That's pretty good. Aren't you glad the Bible doesn't say this is the day the Lord has made? get mad and kick each other but God tells us to lift up our heads that we'll find our strength and our salvation in him hallelujah you know a fine old preacher who taught me this trade he always said Jim when you got them pumped up pass the plate an even wiser old preacher he said to me Jim people like to get something before they give Amen. Well, let's see. What could I give you today? How about my sermon? I feel like preaching right now. I want to put ushers at those doors. I don't want anyone to leave this service until I'm through. I think it's time for this church to hear the message I have today. I think it's time for the church to move forward in victory. I think it's time for Tammy to sing her song. Well, that's a familiar voice. Where have I heard that before? Yeah, around the house. <laughs> so what about my song, Jim? <laughs> you know, Jim, I just want to say that this is a day to rejoice. And here we are in this beautiful new church, and it just makes me feel like I want to sing something really special for all our friends. Would that be all right, Jim? Okay. <laughs> well, before I give my sermon, Tammy and the Heritage Village Choir is going to fill this hall with the Holy Spirit, with a beautiful gospel hymn. What do you say? Let's give this church some mercy. This song's very important to me, Jim, because a year ago I was very confused. 
I wouldn't look at life anymore. I didn't want to look at life anymore. Ready, my, life, shot. my life was over for me. My marriage was falling apart. Well, you all know that because I wasn't here singing for you anymore. I mean, that's the most favorite thing in the world for me is to sing Jesus' message. And I was about to make some horrible mistakes. I was, I was going to make some terrible mistakes. But then Jesus came to me. Now. And I'm here today to share that miracle with you. Mercy. service we're having here this morning. Lift your voices in song and your hands to God. Let's rejoice in the gospel of abundant living. In the name of Jesus, we agree together. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. I've never been in one room more filled with the love of the Holy Spirit in all my life in this service here this morning. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise his miracles and his mercy. It doesn't get any better than this. Praise God. Why is that worker sitting on an expensive piece of equipment having a sandwich when he should be doing his job? Would you go get him to work? Hello, Brian. Welcome home, Jim. I had a terrible flight. I'm sorry. I've got something private. Oh, well, go right ahead and ruin my day, Brian. Our lawyers tell me that Congress may reactivate that inquiry into our tax-exempt status. Look, PTO is a tax-exempt Christian ministry. What is it going to take to convince them? Smarter lawyers. There's something else, Jim. The Charlotte Observer's got another reporter sniffing around. Why does everyone want to nail Jim Baker to the cross? <laughs> A building inspector's giving me trouble about the new church. How come? A shakedown? <laughs> he just can't get his head around the idea that we built television facilities right in. That's the way I designed the church. Oh, I know. I talked to the contractor. He warned us to expect humongous cost overruns if we go ahead and, and do the whole part. It's still cheaper than rewiring later. I hate to throw cold water, but we do have bank loans coming due. Gentlemen, as long as I'm on the air, I can raise the money we need to make this a 21st century operation. Something Jesus can be proud of. Everything's state of the art. The Christian Broadcasting Network satellite system, the television studios, the same goes for the retirement home, the hotel, the theme park. Here, Christians are going to go first class. Nothing chintzy, nothing cheap. And I want that message drummed into everybody on that payroll. You don't hear anybody arguing. <laughs> <laughs> Let me make a prediction. In 10 years' time, no, in five years' time, Heritage USA is going to be a city with thousands of full-time residents. What am I doing here? I have no idea. Do you know what I'm doing here? Jim wants you in the pictures with the board of directors. But I'm not on the board. In fact, I don't have much to say how this ministry is done. I'm the preacher's wife. You ever ask me anything? Tammy, well, now come on. Let's go take some pictures. Come on, everyone. Oh, look who's here. Jim thought we needed a celebrity. Hi, hi, hi. Welcome to PTL. Okay, we're your party all hat. Right. <laughs> Got an urge to whistle a girl. Oh, wow. So, don't be surprised if they whistle right back. <laughs> so sharp and snappy. That's why I always enjoy guesting on your Jim and Tammy show. Wow. Don, this picture needs a movie star. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Pastor Dorch, how come you're not wearing your party hat? Well, as an executive of the Assemblies of God, I don't want to appear frivolous. Uh, besides, my you're wife says son. I'm <clears throat> naturally stuffy. Oh, we'll have to work uh, on uh, that. Tammy, would you two get over here? You're holding up this photo. <laughs> Coming, honey. Uh, we'll stand next. Okay, in your best. Yeah. Okay. Smile, everybody. <laughs> yeah.
Very impressive. And just to the right, or to the opposite. And here's the board. Have there been any uh, cost oh, as well? Well, I'm really no, keeping it home. This is one of the nicest places. Brian, could you slip this to Jim? She uh, wouldn't spell her name, just said Jim would know her. H A H N. Jessica Hahn. <laughs> you won't mind if I put my dark glasses back on? <laughs> Philippine mahogany. Indonesian teakwood. I don't want to be a wet blanket, but I can't help wondering if this luxury is necessary. Dick may have a valid point. Well, now, Don, you're from Hollywood. Forgive me for saying so, but you don't understand our people. Charismatic Pentecostals don't condemn nice things. In fact, they won't support a ministry that's chintzy. Now, isn't that right, Brother Dork? It's a matter of degree. As for Indonesian tape, They want Jim and Tammy to project a successful image, and I'll tell you why, Brother Dorch. We all grew up money poor, worshipped at a funny little church on the edge of town. That leaves a hurt. Mm -hmm. But let me make this point loud and clear. We are getting over our inferiority complex. Mm -hmm. We've all seen what's happening out around this country lately. Christian believers aren't invisible anymore. That's right, Jim. We are saying to the world, respect us, include us. We are tired of acting like the poor relations. We're going to build a place today's Christians can take pride in. Nothing Amen. cut rate, everything first class. As long as Jim Baker has a say in everything about PTL. Here, here. Here, here. here, here. here. Of course, the here, board here. of directors bears final responsibility in all these decisions. My concerns are how we're going to uh, pay for such an ambitious building program. You leave that burden on my shoulders, I'll raise the money we need. God spoke to me. He said, Jim, I want your new prayer center to be something special. He said, Jim Baker, I want you to build a replica of the upper room. Yes, that holy place in Jerusalem where my, where my only son Jesus I'm sorry. I can't go on. Someone come and help me. It's all right. I'm all right. Where my only son, Jesus, ate his last supper. And I said, yes. Yes, God, I will build the upper room. I will call upon our prayer partners to help us build it. Well, honey, they're answering you. Just my heart is so warmed. Our family, our prayer partners. Look at this pledge. Five hundred dollars. <laughs> Are you trying to tell me something, Tammy? Zero. Count the zeros. Count the zeros. There must be an echo in this room. All right, I'm going to count the zeros. One, two, three. Are you telling me this isn't five hundred dollars? Five thousand. This is five thousand. That is a pledge directly from the heart. Oh, yes. Who's this from? Who's this, this from? Hallelujah. Yeah. For this pledge. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kobe and Edna Wilpeck out in Ohio. In How do you Ohio. say it? Where that is that, That is Wapakoneta, Ohio. Wapa I want to put. Homer and Edna's pledge up on that tote board for all the world to see. Hallelujah. Tammy, we need your next song. Tammy, Tammy, where are my children? Did anybody get them some lunch? They've been scoffing donuts all day. Come on, here's your spot. Take a look at this man. Each one of these flags is a station that right now is beaming what I'm saying out across the United States and all over the world. We're reaching millions of people with God's teaching. You're a big healthy fella. You're not doing anything right now, right? I bet you could get my kids to eat something healthy, like an apple or something, huh? Could you do that? Sure. We need your pledge. If you send your pledge of $50, Tammy and I, we want to send you one of our books. Now, we're not going to tell you which one, but... Uh, before we uh, show you those lovely gifts we want to send you, I'd like to take a, a quick swing around the country 
And uh, I'd like to start uh, over in the West. Hey, See how we're doing down in Texas. Texas. Sorry, Kevin. Quick, quick, come on, come on. Tiny Plunkett, are you reading me down there in Armarilla? Yeah, I'm reading you down there. Well, now, how are the pledges coming down the Panhandle? Well, me down there in Armarilla. Well, now, how are the pledges coming down the Panhandle? Don't I see a phone that's not ringing? Sorry, partner, I couldn't hear you over all the oil wells pumping. Well, I hope they're pumping green. Well, that's our favorite color down in these parts. We got a passable tally figure down here, Jim, but we ain't gonna quit until it's Texas big. Well, good, good going. That'll give the folks down in Dixie something to shoot at. Jim did that on purpose? Talk about truth and advertising. Nah, it's all in fun. Nobody's fooled by cardboard cactus. So tell me, Faye, I want you to take it away with Count Me In. Some building contractor blames me for not getting a permit to put rocks around the indoor baptismal pool. Get them off my back. Item, I was very disappointed to uh, see that the paint on the inside of the set for the Passion Play is peeling. I really love our house. We had that done once, and I want it done right. Item, we need volunteers to help build a new barn at the petting zoo. Especially having the kids' rooms over in the other wing. Tammy, what are you doing? Gee, I don't know. Figure it out. I have another hour to go here. Item, ask the uh, contractor if his cost estimates on building the hotel and includes the uh, landscape. Tammy, would you cut it out? I'm busy. You can't work all night long because I won't let you. Yeah, okay, rub my shoulders. Oh, gee, thanks. Jim, remember in counseling how we always promised to be honest with each other? If you're working up to criticism, I've had my limit for today. No, no, no criticism. Mm. 
I love you to pieces. But I really need more time with you alone. And don't you think I know that? I mean, I I mean, I don't like always being under the gun. We have to make time for each other. <laughs> uh, what'll satisfy you? I've been thinking what we really need is help running the ministry. Like a right hand man. Question is who? Somebody older, distinguished, religious, but also a good administrator. Well, here it is, the model of our dream. That's where the water park will go, and oh, that's where the Heritage Grand will be. The devil's got his hotels in Atlantic City. What's wrong with God having one right here at Heritage USA? You know what we'd here? That's just what I was thinking. What's that over there? Well, that'll be our amphitheater for our Christian musical. You can line the whole place up here. You know, just buy lots of them and ask for a discount. They look so beautiful. Pammy. Hi, honey. Merry Christmas, honey. Merry Christmas. I uh, got you a Christmas gift. You uh, want to see what Santa Claus brought? What, something good? Well, I didn't have time to get it gift wrapped, but Reverend Dorch has signed on as PTL's new executive vice president. If I uh, meet with your approval. My approval? Praise the Lord. Stay right there. I want to come down there and hug you. <laughs> well, let's go look for office space. Now, I think you should have a view of the Heritage Lane. Nothing so often. Jim? Oh, but yes. Jim, I need you a minute. Oh, all right. Just a minute, Richard. I'll sure, be right sure. back. Make it 59 seconds. I'm writing a memo to payroll to authorize your Christmas bonus. Was that amount net or gross? Well, now, Kathleen, you know I always leave the boardroom when they vote me money, but I'm sure that they meant the $50,000 to be tax-free. Does that go for Tammy's bonus, too? Well, now, there's no double standard at PTL. Women get equal treatment. Money rolls in a million a week. I get the figures. Still, this operation bothers me. Cash to the right, checks to the left. What could be simpler? I'm not suggesting dishonesty. These are church people. But the risk of having unpaid volunteers handle such large sums... We do things however Jim wants. I'm sure, but he brought me in to spot problems. I'm not going to be a rubber stamp. Yes. Five minutes, Jim. Thank you. Thanks. Showtime. You know, I don't think I like the crown. I think if we lose the crown, we'll be better off. Definitely. Lose the crown? Why, glory be, she's Miss America. Definitely the crown. Definitely the crown. Don't forget now, after lunch, everybody, especially you ladies, be back here for another hour of fun and music on Tammy's House Party Show. Whoa, you look great. <laughs> Here's your aspirin, correct brand. You got me extra strength. After last time, hey, I learned. And soda in a real glass, too. You don't drink from styrofoam. Look, I'm sorry if I kicked up a fuss. Don't sweat it. We know you're doing 10 shows a week. Live. Jim, checks for you to sign. Not right before the show. What show? I can't interview Miss America for an hour. She's programmed to talk 60 seconds. Maybe Tammy will do the puppets. I already asked. She won't. Is she in one of her moods again? The version tall beauty queen. What about my base socks? Did you get those for me? On my list, Jim. They're on my list. Let's get in focus. What about the water park model? No, no last minute. Do I? Please. have to be the one around here who has all the bright ideas. Ready? Brian, you go get that put water park position. model. You put it on the set. You tell them up in the booth. I'm going to explain to Miss America how the water slide works. 
That's great. They'll be fascinated with that. Jim, Tammy, you're the empty stage right. If you ask me, that water slide's a really dumb idea. Because nobody asks me. Okay, I got him. What are we to the audience now? Last time I looked, PTO was a religious ministry. We are drawing two million visitors this year. They can't spend all their time praying. Why can't they see the Passion Play? I love the Passion Play. This park needs a fun attraction like Disneyland's Matterhorn. It's another building without a roof. I bet you don't even know how much it'll cost. Lay off, we have a show. How much will it cost? One million, two, three. How we pay? Credit card. Let's hear a big Christian welcome for Jim and Tammy Baker. Thank you. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. How are you? God loves you. He really, really does. Welcome. Yes, wonderful. Well, Jim, you ever have a day you wish you could do over, huh? Have you? You wake up grumpy. Skip breakfast. <laughs> you, you can't do anything with your hair, so you plop on a wig. <sighs> you find yourself snapping at the people you love most and who love you. Well, I'm having that kind of day. I'm asking Jesus for forgiveness. Jesus, please forgive me. I want to say I'm sorry with my music. Now whenever I am tempted, when doubts and fears arise, when song gives way to sighing and hope within me dies I draw him closer to me and from watching me Lord your eyes are the sparrow so I know you're watching me Where's Jim? Excuse me. He's spending the day at home. Will you get him on the phone? No, never mind. I'll drive him. So I'm like, uh, Pastor Dorch, you've probably heard that I'm leaving. Uh, yes, uh, Jim said uh, burnout. Well, something like that. Anyway, Patrick is going excuse to be Jim's new assistant. Hi. I've been working in publicity. Oh, congratulations. Uh, will you excuse us, please? I need a few moments with Brian. Uh, Brian? Uh, Brian. Okay. I've just had a very upsetting phone call from uh, uh, Jessica Hart. Mom, I brought your cold drink. Have you seen my blue sweater? You must have a hundred of them. But I only have one favorite one. The one with the little bunny appliques on it. Somebody must have snitched it. Did you take my sweater, Tammy Sue? Don't look at me. I'm too old for bunny appliques. Hey, that's mine. Get your own. Look, look, look. It's right here. If it was a snake, it would have bit me. If I don't get my sugar fix, I climb the walls like Spider-Man. You know I'm under stress because I have to fly to Tulsa tomorrow. Well, don't you usually take this stuff? I found it under some maps in your Mercedes glove compartment. My Ativan, you found it. Well, Mom, if you're feeling so rotten, then why don't we just skip having a picnic on the lake? Tammy Sue wants to wash her hair. I do not. Forget it, Tammy Sue. This is the Baker's family day. We're going to spend it on the houseboat enjoying each other like normal people, whether we like it or not. There you go again, Tammy Sue. You always have to fight me. You always have to do that. 
Well, you better remind Daddy today's family day. Old Pastor Dorse just came over to talk business. He promised me! The woman's threatening to hit us with a civil lawsuit. Let's take a drive. Reverend, whoa, whoa, wait for me! Reverend! Sam doesn't know anything about Jessica Hahn. Step on it. I've been paying the rent since Aubrey died. He didn't let me off the hook easy when I came here to confess. From what you told me, there was no force, no rape. But we did commit adultery. But there have been no repetitions. No, she was just a girl in a hotel room. I've asked Jesus, how could you let me make such a dumb mistake? Preachers are human, imperfect. God's forgiven me, I know he has. Otherwise, I couldn't have gone on. It was all of five years ago. If Tammy found out, I could lose my marriage. If the scandal broke, I could lose the ministry. We certainly can't let that happen. I've dealt with unfortunate situations like this many times in my work with the Assemblies of God. You're saying you can handle the problem? I can depend on you? I'll do my best to settle this. Pray for me. Pray with me. Pray for the ministry we both love. I've had another phone call from the Han girl's representative. Oh, Richard, don't spoil Lincoln's birthday. The man's threatening us. With what, an old scandal? That's long since over. Come on, Richard. Let's go enjoy the fireworks. With castration. Well, now, he couldn't have meant that. That was no metaphor. He put it in gutter language. I have a copy of the lawsuit they we filed. I didn't take them seriously because the amount of damages is preposterous. How preposterous? In excess of 12 million. That's blackmail. I hate to pay them a dime, but... You do whatever you have to do. Hi, Tammy. I'm coming right down. You want to tell me about this? And don't bother lying. Pastor's already told me the truth. Tammy, have you been taking that medicine again? You promised me! And now the Crystal Palace, another building, ripped up from Disneyland! This is no time to argue. No, who can argue? with the great Jim Baker. Pastor Dodge, talk to him. We've had lengthy discussions, and Jim feels very confident he can raise the $100 million. This building's going to cost $100 million? We already owe millions of dollars. Tammy, calm down. My congregation's growing. You know I need a bigger church. Not for seating 30,000 people, Jim. Why can't PTL have a show place like Oral Roberts' Tower? If you can't show faith in me, how about showing some in Jesus? Where's this all gonna end, Jim Baker? Where's this gonna end? Okay, everybody, we're going to take 10, then we'll lay it down, all right? This is no time for a break. Now, we're on a deadline. Let's go with it. All right, sir. You're the boss, sir. Uh, sorry, kids. We're going to have to go with it. Stand by. One, two, one. 
How well did her last album sell? Oh, we don't sell them. We give them away to contributors. It's love gifts. They bring PTL about two million dollars a year. That's a lot of love. <laughs> Uh, Reverend Baker, we made those changes in the fundraising manner. PTL is on the brink of disaster, asking all partners to help. My check better not bounce. Oh, <laughs> that's just saying that PTL needs money to pay its bills, and that's the truth. You just have to create a sense of urgency, otherwise people won't reach for their checkbooks. Mm. I'm learning things every day. Honey, that cough's getting worse, isn't it? How come you're wearing purple, all you? It came straight from the show. So did I, but I changed my clothes. How am I supposed to sing in front of a bunch of eggplants? We don't have that many changes. Well, it's time to go shopping. Come on, guys, let's go. Tammy. Don't try to argue me out of this, Jim. Tammy, you're a professional. That's right, I am. Don't you think people notice when I wear the same old rags all the time? Tammy, if you just promise me to finish recording this one song, that'll give me time to call the minivan that'll take you girls anywhere you want to go. What do you say, girls? Leggets? No belts. No, no, no. Neemans. Neemans. Neemans is having a sale. And you buy whatever will make you happy, okay? One, Hit it. Two, one. Well, Tam, this private enough for you? Mm, I think we could be just normal people here. Like Frank Sinatra, <laughs> President Reagan and Nancy at their ranch. It needs a new security system. I'm sure we can factor that into the selling price. He likes the place, I can tell. How soon can we go into escrow? Uh, lunch first. Lunch? Um, we'll need to know who the purchaser of record is. Uh, the bakers or... PTL. Oh, same difference. That thousand dollar gift makes you a lifetime partner. Here at Beautiful Harry. Thousand bucks is real money to ordinary people. Now let me spell that out for you again. That one time thousand dollar gift entitles you to four days and three nights of free lodging for the rest of your life here at Beautiful Harry. Item, Harry's this Jewish. is a reminder. I want to do a people sermon on the text give, that and it should be given unto you. That one thousand dollar gift buys you. There, the wording, Jim. You have got to be more careful. Be you, you can't sell these partnerships like timeshares. I'm whipping up emotion. So I can't be responsible for every word. Well, take it from your lawyer. You can be held responsible. And that pitch is all a hungry federal prosecutor is going to need to go after you for wire and mail fraud. You were hired to work for me, and I want you to understand How long am I supposed clear. to wait? Nobody is defrauding anyone. I am doing God's work. And I have absolute faith that Jesus will help me deliver on the promises I made. That's not good enough! Look, I'm trying to keep you out of jail! Visa, MasterCard, Jim, 
item. I want to see if we can get the state police Dad. to lower the speed limit on the highway out in front of Heritage USA so people can read the damn sign. Kathleen, when Minnie Pearl's agent calls, patch them through to my car phone. We're on our way down. ETA, two minutes. Item, I want the latest copies of Forbes magazine that lists the wealthiest men in America. I'll also get my banana tree. Item, I need two fluorescent tubes for the closet in my home. Oh, Jim, uh, listen, I uh, have a check. A half million dollar check to our contractor bounced today. Item, have the gardener look at Tammy's banana plants in her bathroom. The bathroom, I missed the bathroom. Why? What's up? Well, because the bank put a hold on a deposit in the account. Well, move our accounts to another bank. Jim, we use too many now. Jim, look, I have sent memos begging you now to simplify the finances, control spending, and, Jim, above all, you've got to set some priorities. Well, talk to Patrick. Would you hold the elevator for me? He does set priorities. Banana trees over bum oh, checks? Well, don't get the idea I'm not loyal. PTL. No, I'm sorry, Reverend Baker's in conference. Does anybody know I'm here? And that is the How was your trip to California? Not pleasant, but successful. Arranged that our agreement with the Hanman was signed by a judge. Not in the courtroom. No, no. Retired judge. It's a not of court settlement in the amount of two hundred and sixty-five thousand dollars. I've arranged it so the money won't go directly to the woman from PTL. I don't want to know about that. I didn't ask for it. Don't tell me what I didn't ask. The problem has been put to rest without anything on the public record. Nothing that our enemies can dig out. Buried forever. Jim. Jim, excuse me. Jim. Jim. I've got to talk to you about Swaggart. I thought I asked you to hold the elevator. Tammy was in a mood. Well, wait for me downstairs. I've been having second thoughts about us banning the show. Swaggered? I don't want him on my network. That decision could be costly. Why, when we have evangelists lining up to buy network time? It would cripple his fundraising. He'll fight back. Do I need to point out you're vulnerable? Swaggered attacks. He points his finger and condemns. And another thing. A preacher who'll go after Catholics or Jews won't hesitate at coming after us. You want that mean spirit on Christian television, on PTL? As a matter of principle. This is a matter of principle. I understand how strongly you feel, but still. Small things. All right, go ahead. Be my Henry Kissinger. Promo, Memphis, take one. Hi. We're short 100 monthly partners to meet our budget here in Memphis. Jim and Tammy really need ya. Cut, print. Promo, Utica, take one. Hi. We're short 100 monthly partners to meet our budget here in Utica. Jim and Tammy really need ya. Cut, print, Anchorage, take one. Hi, we're short 100 monthly partners to meet our budget here in Anchorage, Alaska. Jim and Tammy really need ya. Hey, maybe we should take a break. <laughs> the crying works, let's keep going. Hi. We're short 100 monthly partners to meet our budget here in Anchorage, Alaska. Jim and Tammy really need you. Well, this is real cute, sort of. Mm. It's real spooky. <laughs> I get this feeling I've been shrunk by headhunters. Well, what is it? A one of a kind or what? No, Jim ordered a bunch. They're going to be on sale downstairs in the gift shop. Six hundred dollars. Stand still for me, please. And at the big party, you'll be a walking, talking advertisement. Well, Jim asked me to, and he's my hubby, and I love him. Y'all are getting along better? Could you hand me my soda pot, please? Now, don't slosh that all over your beautiful new gown. If I do, I'll tell Jim it's your fault for sticking me with those pins and making me scream like a voodoo doll. Ah! <laughs> Mrs. Baker, I can't get my work done if you don't cooperate. Seriously, though, what? Seriously. Seriously, seriously? Does anybody take me seriously? Or am I really some dummy doll? Wind her up, Benji Bear's witness. Wind her up some more. And 
and she sings. Preacher's wives. All I have to do is think of my Savior. Jesus, his mercy. Jesus, his message. Jesus, how he heals you when you're hurting. Tammy, honey, what are you doing this to yourself for? Because I am so full of joy. I am, but my heart, I am happy. Happy, happy. We better take a break. Oh. Tell me, tell me there's no one in the key. Tell me. Item, the uh, shutters on the People That Love Center need paint. It's looking ticky-tacky. And tram number 507 is uh, running kind of funny. Have the mechanics look at it. For the sake of these minor details worth your time. If I didn't ride herd here constantly, this park could turn into a dump overnight. You see, right there, that cable, someone could trip on that and sue us. We have a more urgent problem. Well, I don't mean to criticize, but I brought you on to solve problems, not bother me with them. The Charlotte paper's got another reporter digging for dirt on the ministry. Since when hasn't that paper been trying to get PTL? He, as it may, he's asking questions about the swagger feud and the sexual climate. Sexual... What? What does that mean? Divorces, rumors of wife swapping, <laughs> gay, homosexual doings. It's lies, supermarket rag stuff. Of course, still there are gray areas in our business practices like selling too many timeshares in the lodging projects. It is not timeshares, they're partnerships. And we don't sell them, we give them away in exchange for donation. And juggling funds from one account to another and not using money for the purpose for which it was given. Richard, what would you like me to do? You know how it works. The problem is how it looks. Ask people to help build a house for a poor little crippled boy. You can show on television and the money rolls in. But you see how much they chip in. We start asking them to help build us a sewage treatment plant. Sorry, Jim. Fire Marshal said we'll be in violation if we don't cut the guest list. Now, why is everyone putting up roadblocks? Can't they see what's good about PTL? What about our prison outreach? Our old folks project, our home for unwed mothers. What about all the souls we're bringing to Jesus? All that should just be swept right down the drain because this water park isn't Christian enough for Jimmy Swaggart and the Charlotte newspaper wants to win a Pulitzer Prize. Well, I got news for him. God's on my side. He's not gonna let them destroy this ministry. Uh Fire marshals have their rule book, just like preachers have. Their. We don't need your flippancy. I want a balloon drop. Excuse me? For the anniversary ball, I want a balloon drop. <laughs> not tomorrow already. Happy anniversary. Oh, thanks. But it's not over yet. It was a double celebration. We spent a quarter of a century bringing souls to Jesus. Is everybody in for the night? Yes. Jim, I'm on a bath or a shower. I need to wind down first. Item, I'm concerned about our Canadian opera. I think we're paying taxes twice. Jim, I can't remember. When am I flying up to Washington to do that interview? Tomorrow? It's after your recording session. Item, the no bus is signed by the Passion Plays Amphitheater. It isn't professionally lettered. Hey, can't you skip that just for one night? Why can't we find painters who know how to use a brush? Bathroom? 
bath or shower. Where was I? Never mind. Item. The uh, bulb in the men's shower room is too dim. I've asked them to use stronger wattage. Why haven't they? Item. Oh, item. It's our anniversary. Was yesterday. It's gone already. Hey. Be nice if once in a while you'd say I love you. I say it all day to strangers. Well, then skip the words. Look at me a little more. Touch me a little more. Don't you think I want to? Time's the problem. There's never enough of it. And if you want to get anywhere in this world, you got to run faster than everyone else. I don't want to run anymore. I don't. I want to slow down. I want us to get away together by ourselves. You tell me how. I've got a million things to do. Besides, Palm Springs is too far away. Well, how come California's not too far for the president and Nancy to go chop wood and ride horses? Item, have somebody look for a nice cabin or house for us in the Smoky Mountains. Don't worry, I'll remind you. Come to bed. Didn't used to have to drag you. I'm so tired, I can hardly stand. Tammy, you're messing everything up. Oh, really? That's tough. I'm not going to share my bed with all these things. Why are you getting so worked up? Did you take some kind of medicine? What's this? Another building? No, not exactly. It goes with the Crystal Palace. What does it cost? Doesn't that scare you? Why do you always fight me? Don't you see what's at stake? I'm trying to build a worldwide ministry. I'm trying to keep our lives and our family together. And run the third largest theme park in America. Don't you see how crazy this is? You, 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 you buy buildings that cost hundreds of millions of dollars and yet you spend your time worrying about picking little details on that stupid machine. Well, somebody's got to, or do you think this place runs itself? You know, if I let it go, this whole thing could collapse all over us in a week. Collapse? I feel buried already. What do you want me to do, Tammy? You want me to give it up? You want me to give up God's work? You want me to stop building buildings? Is that what you want? Well, go ahead. You hate this machine so much. Say it. Let's get it on the record. Go on, tell me. Tell me what to do. I'll do it. It's in the lake. Tammy, no. Tammy, get back in there. Tammy. Touch the panel. The control panel is right there. What? The what panel? Press the button. What? Press the button. Well, I don't know. The state code? Shut no, they didn't tell. Shut it off. Well, I don't Shut know. Off. It's a security guard. Where is he? People, are you hearing me? Some of you got your brain so twisted, so hell-bent on being destructive and being nasty, you don't want to hear this sermon! Well, I'm not going to stand for it in this church! I'm not going to sit by while people destroy each other in this church. This is going to be a safe haven for people, for rebuilding, for redemption, for the healing of marriages, the healing of people that hurt, the healing of, of souls, of broken hearts, of broken lives. This is a healing center, not a hell center. I have tried to build a place where Jesus could be glorified. I've preached the gospel for 25 years. I want you to notice my name's not on any building, not on any auditorium. It never will be as long as I live. And they have instructions if I die never to put my name on anything. But when I walk through Heritage USA, that's all I hear all day long, Jim. Jim. Jim Baker. Shake my hand, Jim. Can I take your picture, Jim? Jim Baker? I almost hate that name. Because I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear Jim Baker. I want to hear Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. I want you to see Jesus. 
If any man glorifies me through any work that's been done here, I want to tell this congregation right now, I will resign this ministry and walk away. I don't want to be God. I want you to see Jesus. I pray this place will glorify Jesus and treat Jim Baker as one of his humble servants. That's all I want to be. Pastor to my people. Father to my family. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Oh, God. God, I pray I'm not creating monsters. Swaggart's going after everyone. Jim, what if he finds out about Jessica Hahn? I'm not saying he'd leak it to the press, but still. Jimmy is no dummy. He knows that mud splatters everyone. I take the risk. Let him back on the network. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can play uh, Kissinger again. Get him to uh, soften his attacks. It won't work, Richard. His Jesus condemns. The only Jesus I want on Christian television is the Jesus who saves. Our Jesus. I told you no calls. Now, if you can get Swagger to see how his finger pointing is worse than the sins he's pointing at, maybe... I'm afraid we're in no position to make that kind of argument. Damn it, Jim. Pick up two. It's an emergency. Pauline, up at your Tennessee cabin. I am losing total control around here. Yes, Jim Baker. Oh, thank heaven. I've got a real problem here with Tammy. What, is her cold worse? She is near losing her mind. She has washed her hair three times. And I caught her sticking her head out the window. What? I can't hear you. Would you turn off the music, Polly? Tammy's got it turned up because she thinks she's going deaf. And Jim, I'm sorry, but this is more than I can handle. Well, then quit talking and go get a doctor. I already did. He wants to put her in the local hospital and shoot her full of antibiotics. He's a nice man, but I couldn't get him to understand that Tammy takes all kinds of medicines. All right, all right, Pauline, I understand. You did the right thing. Oh, God only knows what all kinds of medicines already in her body. Daddy, Pauline. Now I'm going to explain to you exactly how you get her to the Eisenhower Hospital in Palm Springs. way. Can I trust you to be a good girl? Go to the store for me. Could you go to the store? Go to the store. Go to the store. We're up in an airplane. Did I take my hat of it? Yes. Like 
Baker's condition is still critical. And the nurses told us pneumonia. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke the devourer. I rebuke pneumonia. I rebuke the devil. That's not our major problem at the moment. Reverend? Reverend, if I could have your attention, I'm going to have to ask you a few questions you may find painful. Does your wife use narcotics? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about drug abuse, Reverend. Cocaine? A preacher's wife? Are you crazy? What about amphetamines? Uppers, downers, diet pills? No, no. The uh, only things my wife takes are drugstore medicines. Well, she's had a severe toxic reaction to something she's ingested. Quite frankly, we can't treat her for it until we find out what's in her system. Do you have any idea? I scooped up all I could find. Oh, my God. She's lucky these haven't killed her. I know. He's trying to run things by remote control. Right, right, right. Look, uh, last item. Jim wants a bonus of speaking very distinctly 300,000. Got it? Uh, look, just do it, okay? Do it! Bye. Well, what's the story back home? If you want the absolute truth, things are falling apart. Why isn't Pastor Dorch doing his job? I can't do your job. The ministry's got enemies, Jim. They want to know how soon you're going to go back and help fight them off. Well, not at least until mid-March. Six weeks. Get real. The doctor says that Tammy has to go through a drug rehabilitation program at the Betty Ford Clinic, and I am going to stay with her. Is that really necessary? You're not just avoiding My her? duty is here, Patrick, period. Now, can we please drop the subject? What about your duty to people who've been loyal? I cannot think about that now. Well, maybe you better start. We gambled our futures on PTL. What are you gonna do, let it go up in flames? My wife is in the hospital. Now, please, I am stressed out. Don't do this to me now. Have you thought about what'll happen? The cops, the tax men swarming all over the place, dusting the cookie jar for fingerprints? We haven't done anything wrong. Come on, Jim, it's me you're talking to. I added up how much you raked in since November. $850,000 on top of your salary and tax-free, meaning it costs PTL twice as much. I have never taken one nickel that the PTL board hasn't authorized. Not even counting money paid to Tammy and Dorch. It's peons like me who can't give ourselves hefty bonuses. What do you want, Patrick? She could die. So could PTL if you don't go back. It's a good thing for everybody. And if you need motivation, think of the partners. All those little old ladies sending in their social security but Don't checks. you say that. Those people, they, they give out of love. Oh, well, sure they do. But how are they going to feel if they find out how Jim and Tammy spend their money? Jim and Tammy have built those people a Christian center they can be proud of. Okay, we'll skip greed. How about a sex scandal? Jessica Hahn's only for starters. We're Why are you driving nails into me? Oh, God. She's still not good, but she is better. Can't you do anything about the coffee? I don't know. We want that in a pneumonia case because it helps to clear the lungs. I'll look in on her later.
I'm so scared. I'm right here. I'm not going anywhere, dear. I'm staying with you. I have something to tell you I should have told you long ago. What? The Charlotte Observer's got a hold of some dirt that could destroy PTL. A scandal. Involving me. Well, what is it? I wish God would strike me dumb so I don't have to hurt you. Did not counseling at Betty Ford teach you? Say whatever you have to say and trust me to understand. I committed adultery. Silly me. For a minute I was afraid this was about our taxes. It didn't mean anything. Well, just the joke's on me. You actually did have a mistress. One. I had once, just once. A girl named Jessica Hahn. And it was back at the time when you left me, when you were having your love affair with... Don't! Don't try to put the blame on me! That affair, as you call it, never got physical and you know it. I know that now. I didn't know that then. I oh, see. It was to prove something. Was that it? To show me! I wasn't thinking straight. Was she young? She beautiful? I can't even remember her face. You remember her name! The headlines, it'll be all over the headlines. The, the Charlotte Observer got the story maybe from Swaggart. And they're gonna use it to destroy Jim Baker. Destroy you? How can they? What mistake that happened way back then? What's the big deal to anybody but me? She's accusing me of raping her. It's ridiculous. I need you to stand by me, Tammy. All these years, you've been keeping this from me. I thought you'd divorce me. I oughta. I love you, Tammy. I love you more than my ministry. I love you more than anything on this earth. Doesn't the fact that I stuck with you through all this prove that? I don't know. I don't know anything. I don't know who you are. Jim and Tammy are like Siamese twins. You can't separate us. You suppose some divorce judge came through here and split us apart. You think you could make it alone? I know I couldn't. And neither could PTL. You better think about that. What's at stake? Everything we built. Can't. I can't think. The devil set his snare and baited it, and in my weakness, I fell in. But can't you forgive me? God has. How do you know, Jim? Does meeting with Jerry Falwell make any sense to you? He's a fundamentalist Baptist. Why would he fly across the country to rescue a charismatic ministry? Christian love? That's what don't smart talk me. Ask Dick Dorch. He set up the meeting. Well, I am, because this whole thing really bothers me. Here come Jim and the good pastor now. 
Look at her. Well, no one's ever gonna say Tammy Faye Baker didn't stand by her man. We've decided what's best for PTL, and I've accepted it. I want you to come up and say hello to Reverend Falwell before we go home. We've roughed out an agreement. What did you agree? It looks like we're going to have to give up control of the ministry. I don't see why. PTL's ours. We built it. The arrangement would be only for 60 to 90 days. Just until the scandal blows over. And Dr. Falwell is going to step in. So you mean he's going to take over PTL to prevent a takeover? A hostile takeover. Well, I don't see what the difference is. We still have to give up control. No, not really. I'd still be in place to look after our interests. The most important thing is to put PTL in the hands of someone who the public sees as above reproach. Well, I guess that describes Farwell. Have you some specific objection? I'm sorry. It's just that he always seems so satisfied with himself. How do you size up Baker? I'm brighter than he acts. Nobody prospers in television evangelism without gray matter. The PTL satellite network's worth a lot more than money. Ah, there they are. It doesn't make sense. If Baker's so intelligent, how could he get nailed for spending one afternoon between the wrong sheets? I don't want you rocking the boat, Tammy. Oh, hello, Jim. Tammy. Tammy, good to see you. Why, it just gladdens my heart to see you looking so well. <laughs> well, I wish I felt better about this. The favor you're doing for us, Jerry, it, it hasn't quite sunk in yet. Maybe I'm dumb, but our partners are charismatics. I don't see how they'll accept being taken over by a fundamentalist Baptist. We're all brothers in Christ. But there's such a big difference in how we worship. An attack on one denomination is an attack on all. We must share the bread of adversity and the water of affliction. I just think that we should talk about this a little bit more. Oh, Tammy, we have been talking for hours. You don't understand Reverend Farwell, but the PTL is our life's work. I'll be happy to answer all your concerns later. But right now, Tammy, right I'm Right now, really... Mrs. Baker, why don't you step into the other room so we can wrap this up? Here's a book you can read. Jim. Uh, Jim, Tammy needs to understand that the Charlotte Observer is going to print that story on Jessica Hahn tomorrow morning. I understand, Jerry. And the most important thing is to save this ministry. helicopters. Don't they ever run out of gas? Brace yourself. Guys are showing around a magazine that has her picture in it. Really? Yeah. So, guys, she beautiful, huh? Is she? You tell me. Oh, Tammy, I... Maybe. If you like that tie. You like that tie? What tie? I'm Patrick. What tie? Uh, sort of 50s cocktail waitress. I want to see for myself. No, I don't. beautiful. I'm going to file for divorce. I see the self-centeredness. I see the avarice that brought them down. And I don't see an ounce of repentance. Now, what do I think Jim Baker needs to do? Number one, he's got to come clean about Jessica Hahn. He's got to say to this poor, innocent girl, please forgive me. What? Secondly, he needs to return the millions of dollars that were taken from the coffers of PTL. I love Jim and Tammy, but at the same time, 
I confessed. God's forgiven me. Why is he letting this happen? People who have sacrificially... Farwell makes me sick. How do you like it if his children heard things problems, like that? Homosexual problems dating back many years, right up to the present time, as have been alleged to us in sworn... Jamie Charles, don't you dare believe that man. To ask God's forgiveness. <laughs> now until he has done all of these things, <laughs> I cannot believe the genuineness exists. He took my ministry. Right. He had to destroy my good name, said, too. Yes. I can't tell you what I'd like to do. <laughs> Did you hear him? Jim Baker's not just a fallen preacher. He's a thief, a con man, a queer. Come on, honey. Nobody's going to believe that. <laughs> yes, they will. People believe anything they see on that. <laughs> But that's not what's important. I want to crawl in a closet somewhere. Listen to me, Jim. What's important is what we believe. Oh, I want to go to sleep and never wake up. We got to believe what we've been preaching. God turns mistakes into miracles. <laughs> die no you don't you gotta be a brave soldier i know where i went wrong tammy huh? what should tell me all you ever wanted was to build a nice place for christians to come the crystal palace you hated it from the beginning no i didn't not the idea that was it that was it don't you see my enemies couldn't see Damn the idea of Jim Baker preaching in front of 30,000 people in that beautiful building. <laughs> That's why they've done this horrible thing to us. The devil filled their hearts with envy and they destroyed PTL to take away my pulpit. <laughs> we didn't do anything wrong. We're not to blame. Jim, we can't hide anymore. I don't know if I can face anyone. Yes, you can. You have to. We gotta fight back. Palm Springs. Word has it that the Bakers are coming out now. The security gates of their compound are open. Why do we need a criminal lawyer? We don't have anything to be ashamed of. Remember that. What have we done? What have we done wrong? We ran PTL honest to the best of our ability. can't figure out what in the world we've done wrong.